Today I thought it would be interesting to have a look at uh, this Chinese plane I bought online and it's actually second hand. I'm interested to see how it will compare to the traditional planes that I buy from makers like Stanley Tools or Record Tools. I think it'd be interesting uh, to compare the two side by side and um, see what I had to do to get this plane running really nice and I did manage to get it running really nice in the end. So this might be an interesting video if you're thinking of buying a tool like this. And to take it apart what you do is undo this screw here and then the blade pops out and the blade engages with this screw there so that notch has to fit into that and what was happening with this tool was this notch was popping out because the tolerance between the blade and the notch was too much so what I had to do to get it running is I had to grind slightly this face here so that the blade sat closer to the screw. So what I did is I flattened this off on the diamond stone. I don't know if you can see now, I've got quite a nice finish on there. Then I had to regrind the blade and grind it square and I actually came with this concave. So it was cutting on the edges and not in the middle, which I've never seen. It's normally the other way around. So I reground that using the uh, Sorby ProGrind uh, worked really well and I've just um, honed an edge on there so it's quite sharp now. So a nice polished surface here now, there's no grinding marks left over from the manufacturer, so that's good. I've got a, about a one millimeter honed edge, um, so and I'm doing the finger test on it and it's picking up the skin really easily, so that's sharp now. It looks like there's a bit of glue on here which needs to come off. But I think after a bit of restoration work, I think it's a really nice tool, to be fair. And I think I prefer it to the Stanley. Now, the adjustment of the Stanley is you undo that, and that pops up, and that hasn't got a ground surface like the Chinese tool has. That's got a flat ground onto it there. The blade, I don't know, I'll have to report back on the hardness of the blade, um, but the Chinese blade is thicker. Although, I think getting this tool working has made me think that I need to go back to the Stanley block plane and get that running a bit nicer. 
because uh, I don't know if you can see that uh, the Stanley one it's got machine marks on there and this is pretty smooth now um, so there's no reason why I can't restore that one to that level um, yeah I guess the the knobs on the Stanley are nicer to use um, because of their profile their rounded profile so they're nice he's a bit sharper um, but saying that the cap irons on the Chinese one is really nicely made really um, when you compare it to the Stanley one it's sticking out about a millimeter a half a millimeter okay what I tend to do is bring it in and then push it out very slightly and then I tighten this and then I try it and then I can close up this gap So all in all, after a bit of work, it's actually quite a nice tool and well worth the money that I paid for it. And I've been using it for quite a while now and the blade seems to be holding its edge so I would imagine the steel would be quite hard. Uh, cap iron fits really nicely into your hand. And it is quite easy to adjust and um, take the blade out to sharpen.